evening. Welcome to the buzz about Smithtown Krav Maga. Krav Maga. Friday, January 3rd. It's already the 3rd. 2020. Look at that. It's a new decade. Yep, it's a new decade. Wow. A new year. A wow. new you. And the year that you say. should not be writing just 20. You should not be abbreviating 20. Okay. When you write the date. I didn't look into this, but I don't see why that matters. Because then someone could just change it to like 2013, 2015. Change what? Backdate something? For, for what purpose? Mm. Like for, if it's a check, game, I don't care because yeah. won't it? It'll still cash, won't it? Mm. Well, I'm sure there's another side to it. I'm sure there is. You got to look into it, I guess. But yeah. be careful with your twenties. I don't buy stuff. But yeah. So, what'd you do? Anything exciting? Um, Hang out with friends. Uh, family. Jackie and, and uh, Nicholas and I went to dinner. Had a quiet Christmas. Uh, well, Christmas was was uh, nice. Spent that with my in-laws. Uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So my brother as well. Uh, it was great. And then um, yeah, New Year's was quiet, just at home. You know, watched the ball drop, went to sleep. I had to work the next day. So, yeah. Uh, you know, but back here, um, back in the routine. Yeah. I'm not a resolution guy, but um, I made some this year because I uh, let myself go a little bit toward the end of the year. With the excuse Don't being all, that, with the excuse being January first, I'm gonna make some dietary changes. Just stop with all the cookies and everything that's been going around the holidays. Yeah, but I mean that's like you know it's that time of the year where you can indulge a little bit because yeah. you know you, I always think about the first man didn't have the opportunity to. There was only animals and berries and hmm. roots and stuff like that. There was to no eat. indulging. You couldn't go. Man. You couldn't go to the ice cream store and yeah. be like, I want to. Two scoops of chocolate ice cream, you know? Right. So we indulge. Could go We've, to the snack machine and get yeah, lotto's. Yeah. Imagine if tomorrow you couldn't have any of that stuff. Like indulge. But yeah, there's also it's also time to get over. That's the new year, so yeah. the the new solar cycle. Yeah, which I love the whole idea. You can autom almost automatically sense the days getting longer. It yeah. doesn't you know, most people start to feel it like late February, I feel it in January. You can just feel a turning of the corner, you know. And we are of oh, this planet, that. we are of this universe. So why wouldn't we respond to the cycles and the seasons and the daylight? But maybe we're getting a little too deep right we're now. Getting deep now. Well, now we can't help it. This is where we go at, yeah. on the buzz. So, yeah, man, I, I brought it in. We had a good time. I spent it with my family as well, um, and we got. You know, we hung out a lot. We ha we hung out. I was there for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And we hung out both days all day long. I haven't done that in forever. That's great. Which was awesome. That's great. So I got to see my too. sister, my brother, my parents, friends from home, like old and new. It was cool. Excellent. We had a good time. Good. But I'm back, and we're back. And it's yeah. time to get back to training if you're being a lazy person. I get it. It's a good time to heal as well. Like, yes. you know, when you're consuming all those calories, like that's a good time. Like if you're starting to lose it mentally or physically, you're just banged up. It's a good time to heal and train a little bit less. But right. like, you know, now, like you said, new year, new solar cycle, new gradually. season, Steps. come back and start getting at it again. Because uh, for what it's worth for the fitness aspect of this, um, Gonna be short sleeve season before you know it. Mm -hmm. You know, beach season. Pretty short sleeves already. Yeah. Well, it's warm in here. Mm -hmm. We uh, we worked tonight. Yeah, it was bit. good. We had a, a new guy, Larry. He called us, told us to call him Larry. Yeah. Good guy, Navy. Excellent served guy. in the Navy. Thank you, sir, for your service. Yeah. Um. So it was Strong it was guy. good. It was it was still light because you know holidays holiday and then the weekend's coming. But uh, it was good. I like small classes. There's there's benefit to large classes. There's benefit to small classes. Yeah, you get to know. focus with a few people, and um, that's when, as a teacher, you learn the most because you can break it down more and work with that group more and see different things. Whereas a big group, like you're in a big group, you're typically fixing the same yeah. things. Yeah. And you're looking at 12, 18 people versus yeah. Yeah. four. So it's like hard to get deep with each person. Like, okay, you're bigger. So like, instead of doing this takedown, try this because it'll, it'll work for you. Yeah. You know, when there's only a small amount of people and it's big, it's like, all right, you know, you're fixing basic things, and then certain groups you give them a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it's good being back, man. I'm, I like, I like teaching. Yeah, it was a good class. It was fun. I haven't taught adults in a long time. Really? 
I mean, like Saturday, I did a couple Saturdays, but yeah, mostly the uh, during the week it's Drago and uh, and Raul, Sensei Drago and Sensei Raul. Wow. I believe Shihan Raul now, so uh, I know you definitely got promoted, and uh, congratulations, sir. Yes. And we'll heal up and get back yep. soon, my friend. We'll see you uh, in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it was good. Class. Kids class, they were fun. I like small groups with the kids classes too because you can teach them a lot more. Like uh, our little eagles, that's our two to five year olds, there was four of them. And I wanted to see if I could give them more advanced things than I could uh, in a bigger group. And I was able to like do combinations with them and different footwork stuff with them. Like I've never done that with the little kid, like three uh, years old. Like yeah. it's like, yeah, it's cool. It's, it gives you, it, you learn a new way to teach because you have to break it down so simple. Right, like, right. What is the simplest thing I could think of? Like we, for, okay, so for example, the group, we did uh, a wrist grab, all right? The easiest way for me to teach them to get out of the wrist grab was they all do it. They do Pledge of Allegiance, go to the same shoulder, grab. Two strikes, kick, hammer fist, protect. So you gotta like break that down very simply for them. And that mm -hmm. was like, they all got, okay, take your hand, pledge of allegiance. Go to the same shoulder, grab. They all got it. So that was a new way for me yeah. to learn how to teach tonight. Step it was step. cool, it was cool. I was like, huh. Well, I made them figure it out. This is great. And I figured it funny. out. Funny, we were doing some kata um, after class last Friday, and think about, you know, um, kill the bug, right? Mm hmm. That uh, way that they, uh, in, in that school, clear the plate. remembering that. Yeah, and clear, clear the plate. Clean, clear the plate. You know, simple things. All right. Um, paint the fence. Home base. Yep. It, it put, like, that's. Easiest way to teach yeah. by complicated. Yeah, absolutely. Like give, word give it a and give it a real life reference point. Yep. You know, something that you see and do every day. Makes well, sense. Okay. Got exactly. it. That's how you clear the plate. Love it. So uh man, yeah, so we're excited for the new year as you can see. Yeah, yeah. So we hope to see a lot of people back here. I'll be back more now because I'm not teaching um, night guitar classes twice a week. So I'll have another week I'll have a weeknight that I'll be here. So I'm gonna try and be at least two a week. And uh, get myself back into shape, so feeling good and uh, motivated. So, yep. My and so, advice for because I'm in the fitness industry, uh, set realistic goals. Like, don't make okay. So, for example, you should.